This is incredible. Look at this. Look at these models. So one day I'm browsing through the internet and I stumble across this video of this madman who recreated his entire apartment inside his Oculus Quest. And I thought to myself, that can't be too hard. I ended up watching tons of videos here on YouTube, which either completely missed the mark on recreating your room in VR, or they dived way too deep into software I didn't understand. You're gonna need a few things before you attempt this yourself. You're gonna need an iPhone 12 Pro or higher. If you intend on playing the game that you're about to make, you're gonna need an Oculus Quest. It doesn't matter how much storage you have, the game we're gonna be making is pretty small. And last but not least, you're gonna need a computer that we can actually build our game on. Now, after watching a bunch of tutorials, I realized the the most time consuming part of this whole thing is creating your scene from scratch. If you're going to do this the traditional way, you would have to measure every wall, every gap, and the placement of all your furniture so you can line it up. You would also have to include textures and models that you downloaded off the internet or spend a whole bunch of time making it yourself in Blender. Now, let me show you how we can skip 99% of all that work. Why make measurements when you can scan your room? Now, the first thing that we're gonna have to do is download an app called Polycam. Now, what is Polycam? Polycam is gonna be an app that you can use, and it uses your phone to interpret distance data to create your virtual models. You can use its photo mode to capture tiny things to get great detail, or you could use the LiDAR mode to capture your entire house. All right, so first things first, head into the App Store, and type in Polycam. You should see it being the number one option. Go ahead and install it. Once that's done, open it up. Now when you have your Polycam app open, you're gonna see these grid lines. These grid lines are pretty much a virtual model of what your phone sees. Now, it's best to do this with your area well lit as the photos that are being taken now will be implemented as a texture on our model. Now, when you're scanning your scene, ensure that you guys are taking your time you want to do your best to scan all the furniture in your area and make sure the meshes are clean as possible. Once you finish your scan, go ahead and export it as an OBJ file. You want to import it into your computer. I found that the simplest way to do this is going to be through email. Now that our OBJ files have been imported onto our computer, there's a key software that we're gonna need. The Unity engine is used to recreate games and that's exactly what we need. So to get Unity, go to unity.com and you should come up on this main screen. Go ahead and click see plans and pricing. Now, unless you're doing this with a team or you know, in an industrial enterprise, you don't have to click on those. Go ahead and click individual. And then I click on personal. If you're a student, feel free to choose that option and go ahead and download it for Windows. Once Unity is done downloading, go ahead and agree to all the terms that it asks. So now that Unity is done installing, you should see this projects window and you might be wondering what you're supposed to do from here. I'm going to make this as simple and easy for you to understand as possible. And then go up here to the top right and click new project. Now you're gonna see a lot of different options. We're gonna go ahead and click on 3D core. Once you click it, go ahead and create project. The first time I went into Unity, I thought everything was very confusing, but I'm gonna make this a step-by-step -step follow along as possible. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the top left, click file, click build settings. You should see this window. Now, since we're trying to put this onto our Oculus Quest and our Oculus Quest is an Android device, we're gonna go ahead and click Android. We're gonna switch platforms and it should only take a few seconds. Once that's done, we're gonna go over to the left side where it says player settings. We're gonna click on that and we'll be given this new window. Now, if you get a list of tabs over here, what you're gonna have to do is click on other settings. From there, we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna ensure that our minimum API level is at 23. Once you finish that, we're gonna go over here to the bottom left and where it says XR plugin management. We're gonna click on that and we're gonna install it. Now, after you install the XR plugin management, you're gonna make sure that you're underneath the Android tab and you then click on Oculus. Without that, this won't work. Now, I'll tell you the truth, I have no idea what half of this means, but I know it works, and that's all that's important. Once you're finished with that, you can go ahead and close out those two windows. Now, the next step for us to do is to go ahead and download our Oculus Quest integration package. You do that by going to Asset Store, and then typing in Oculus. It should be the first option. It says Oculus integration. Go ahead and click that. Now, once you're here, you should see a big bright blue button that says import. We're then go ahead and click that. Once you get this pop-up window, go ahead and click import. All right, I know that took a few moments, but it's over now. And we're prompted with this question. It's asking us if we'd like to upgrade one of our packages. You don't have to if you don't want to, but if you'd like to, go for it. It will restart your Unity. Now we're gonna head back over to scene. Now, this is the time where we import the model that we scanned of our room and we import it into Unity. So here I have my three files. The OBJ is what we exported. It comes with a .mtl file and also a JPEG image. Go ahead, just highlight them all, drag and drop onto your desktop. And once that's done, we can go ahead and import it into Unity. Once again, just highlight them, drag it over to Unity, 
and drop it in whatever folder that you want to. Now that it's done importing, we have our model and we're able to just drag this model right here and place it right in our scene. Now, this back side of my apartment is really messy, didn't want to clean it, so I just didn't scan it so you guys didn't have to see too much. But I digress, let's get back into it. Over here on the left side, under assets, you'll see a new folder called Oculus. We're then double click that. From here, we're gonna go ahead and click on VR. In here, we should see a whole bunch of folders, but we're looking for the one that says prefabs. In here is all the things that we'll need to integrate our Oculus Quest with this game. Now the first blue box that we have here is our OVR camera rig. We'll need this and this will be the position of our camera whenever we restart the game. Now that our camera is in our scene, what we have to do is we have to find a spot for it where we're able to line our Oculus Quest up in the real world and match it up with the camera that we have in the virtual world. For me, I'm going to line my camera up right in front of my couch. And then if you want to know where the game camera is, you can click on game and it'll show you exactly where you have to set your Oculus Quest so everything is matched up. Now, if you ever do end up deselecting your camera and you can't figure out where it is, just click up here at the top left where it says OVR camera rig and you'll get back on it. Awesome, so now your camera is in a position that you like. The next step to do is to add your controllers. You then go to OVR camera rig and click the drop down arrow. From here, click the drop down arrow for tracking space. And then at the bottom, you'll see a left hand anchor and a right hand anchor. What we're gonna do is drag our OVR controllers right here over both left hand anchor and right hand anchor. I'm currently selecting the right hand anchor. I'll go over to the right where it says mixed. And I'll now click on right touch. I'll do the opposite for the left controller. I'll click OVR controller, where it says mixed, I would then change it to left touch. And that's pretty much it for this bare bones version of a VR game. Now all we have to do is import this game into our request. All right, yes, it's daytime now. Uh, got a little too late to record. But to get your game onto your Oculus Quest, what you have to do is you have to get a USB Type-C cable, plug it into your computer, and then from there, plug it on into your headset. Inside your headset, you're gonna see a menu pop up. You're gonna to have to allow it to have access to your computer. After that, you're gonna go back onto Unity, you're gonna to go to the top left where it says File, and there, you're gonna click on Build Settings. Now, if you're not already on this Android tab right here, you should see a button down here that says Switch Platforms. If you want, you can do that now. If you're not, you're ready to go, go ahead and click Build. You're gonna name it whatever you want. All right, so now we're back in my living room, and we're gonna get this game started. All right, so now that we're in our Oculus Quest, what you have to do to go find your game is go, open up your browser, up in here at the top right it says all. Go ahead and click that and click on unknown sources. When you click that, you'll see my project. We're gonna open that up and that's our game. All right, so if you remember, I placed my camera right here in front of my couch. So with the game open, hello kitty. With the game open, I'm gonna hold down the Oculus menu button and that's gonna center my game right here and everything should line up perfectly. All right guys, as you can see, I am here in my living room, but it's not my living room. It's, it's the craziest thing. Think about all the time that it would take to measure everything. Look, I can come sit down on my couch right here. You could really implement anything that you wanted to. You could have an entire video game where there's monsters coming in through the window and you're going to start, you know, getting them. Wow, this is really just the coolest thing. Yes, there are a lot of things that are messed up because my ceiling is supposed to be flat. It's not. But if I just took more time to scan up everything, then I'm sure I would not have any problems with this. And then obviously this all works with the hand tracking. So you can see my hand right here moving around. I was about to fall. I reached the edge of my couch and this is actually like where my couch is. Everything here is surprisingly well set up. Look at this. I'm dragging my controller along my table and it matches perfectly. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe. Click on this video to see the iPhone 13 Pro's macro camera.